Sup guys, it's uh, Sly from Casually Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm here with who? Exiled from Casually Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Yep, because he's a casual. A filthy casual. Not really. He's he's not that bad. Um, I'm, I'm, we got... in I'm in between. Yeah, he's, in between. he's in between. He's in between. He's casually competitive or competitively casual. <laughs> uh, today, we got a, um... <laughs> today we got a uh, Mermel deck profile for you. It's uh, mine, you know, because yeah, I'm the better player of the two of us. I own the more expensive cards. Uh, yeah, he but, has more money than I do. Yes, I do. Um, so we got, first off, Deep Sea Diva, because he can search Nethabyss. This is probably the worst or second worst way of getting Nethab to Nethabyss, because, you know, it can get Ash Blossomed, which is annoying. Um, then we got Nethabyss, which is kind of immune to uh, Ash Blossom, actually, because you can use the effect as cost. So, yeah. Um, but then we got two Dragoons, which is just the combo beast. You know, you really only have, like, you only, like, if Dragoons got hit to one, you'd be okay. Two is only important, really, in one combo, which is um, with uh, Bisteus, which is a nice one. Um, hua. Then we got Mulan Glacier. This is really the only card that's in here that's really for, like, going first, kind of. Because um, you can pop two cards out of your opponent's hand if you're playing against Pendulum Magicians. They really can't play because they, they really need all five of their cards. Otherwise, it's just kind of a big body that you can summon, which is nice going second, you know? But then we're playing two Megalo. So, some people play three. And some people are stupid. Um, not really, but I say that because really, you drawing into Megalo itself is a brick. So you'd rather just search it, which you can do with Shurgoons. Um, however, you're like, like, you're asking, okay, well, why are you playing two then? Specifically because you can use, uh, if you have Nethabyss and Teus, or a way to get Nethabyss and Teus, you can special one Megalo normally and have a searched gun and a Megalo, another Megalo in hand. And get the other one out anyway with that. So it's it's nice if you can get the combo. Yeah, I was um, gonna interrupt you and say, why do you play two megalo? Because exactly. you're like, it's three megalo. Or you're stupid. I'm like, are you implying you're stupid? But you <laughs> no, I'm a genius. Don't worry. <laughs> debatable. But you you answer my question anyways. Continue. Cool. Um, we got three copies of Teus. You know, because of that one combo. And yeah, that one combo basically. Not really. There's a, there's, there's two combos which have the same cards as starters. But yeah. Um. Then we got one copy of Abyss Gund, um, for that special summon, and plus, if you ever have the Teus, you want to search so you can get, like, a plus off of it, because why why not plus if you can plus, right? Um, then we got two copies of Heavy Infantry. I used to play one Infantry, one Marksman. However, really, what cards do you hit with Marksman in this format? Nothing unless you're playing against Paleo, but nobody plays Paleo except for me and Exiled, so, you know, yeah. Uh, but this one, like, if you think about it, even the trap cards that you would want to be hitting with, like, a Marksman are going to be, like, true Draco hit trap cards, which are, like, flip it. It's a, uh, whatever the card... What's the card called? Pay a thousand. What is it? Skill Drain? <laughs> yeah, I keep freeing the card, so, like, it's horrid. But you can hit Skill Drain with this, so, yeah, like... That's why. Um, then we're playing three Degenerate con uh, Kaijus, because, um, they're Waters, they're Gamma Seal. Basically, out to Masterpiece, out to Vortex Dragon. There are actually, there's two quote unquote combos, not really a combo, but kind of, um, which are an out to pendulum magician boards as well, which this is one of the two cards that you can play, and then the other card's more required. Um, if you get over their vortex and then you play, not next card, but I'll tell you when it gets there. Um, then we got the swap frog plus a rodent totem. Um, if I were playing this deck to go first, I'd play the dupe frog, but because this one is not designed for that, this is literally just Summon Swap Frog, uh, discarding something, and then special off Toad. So if you can get Toad on board, you can go through one negate, and that's enough to break a lot of a lot of boards. Like, um, actually, um, Protodax, right? Yes, that's our boy's the name. Yeah, yeah, Protodax. Um, sorry, I don't remember his uh his fake name very well. Um, Protodax, like I played his Cradles a lot, and this the Toad is just a saving grace against that deck. Otherwise, otherwise you'd be screwed more or less. Um, then we play a hand trap engine, which is two ash blossoms, um, three ghost ogre, and two effect failure. Um, they're all nice. If you think about it, like ghost ogre and, well, ghost ogre is probably the best hand trap, I'd say, because it's good in every matchup. Um, technically excluding, uh, Trudeco in the case of that they have a mono auto, but if that happens, who really cares? Um, Valor sucks against that matchup, but it's really good against other matchups. And then Ash is just all around good in every matchup. Except for Pendulum Magicians, actually. So yeah, you cover each other's weaknesses by having so many of them. Um, and then the other cards for the combo of having Gamma Seal. Ragaki and Darkhole. 
If you ever get in Dark Hole, you can Gamma Seal, D4, Dex Dragon, and then just activate one of these two, and then you pop the entire board, and then you just go in for an attack with Nethypus, and you win. It's that simple, which is why it's nice. The other card, if you don't have Gamma Seal, is uh, Forbidden Chalice. So what you do is you like activate Dark Hole, and then they chain Vortex, you chain Chalice to it, negate negate the Vortex to blow up the board anyway. So it's nice. This actually comes from uh, Sima. Uh, he made this with um, Spirals, where he originally was playing it and had the theory with, I believe. Um, so shout out to Simo, you know, because clearly if you've seen our channel, you don't know who Simo is, right? <laughs> um, then we have the what is considered the small draw engine. We've got Moray of Greed. Um, so I'm going to take a brief second because Exiled reminded me that, you know, Light of Seca exists. Um, so I don't personally like, like Light of Seca in this deck because, like, Forbidden Chalice is a really good card. Um, so is, like, Dark Hole and Regeki. So this more or less does exactly what Light of Seca does. But you can still activate your other spells in the deck. So I, I like this card better because of that. And, like, why would you limit yourself to, like, not having other spells in the deck in order to activate stuff. Plus, if you think about it, if you're playing the no spell variant, the outs to you are still around Nethypus, so you might have a bunch of monsters, but if they hit Nethypus, they, you still lose. So really, having all the quote-unquote extenders that you draw off of Ledseca, if you're playing it like that, you're not going to be able to use them anyway. So it's useless if they have any way of outing you. So that's why I prefer Marais instead of that. Um, then we're playing the Hoban. Uh, the, the Upstar Goblin, um, cause yeah, why play 40 if you can play 39? Then one for one. Another reason why Light Attack actually is a kind of quote unquote bad card in the stack is, well, let, yes, you get the draws off of it, you still remove one card of one of your ways of getting into Nethabyss. This is probably the worst card to get dashed, but you know, it happens. If it does, almost a Nethabyss, right? No. Um, then I have one, uh, Abyss Scale of Cetus. Basically, two reasons. One, if you're playing in some rogue matchup, that makes no sense. If they activate a trap card like Mirror Force on you, because yeah, that happens like one in a billion games, this can stop it. However, if you're playing like a spell or a um, uh, the Monster Negator one of the of the Abyss Scales, they just activate something, you remove it, and then like you might not be able to get out some of the bigger bigger monsters they have. So like this also, if you search it and that equips it to a, me a Megalo, gives you an out to Masterpiece. So it's nice. Um, then for the extra deck, this extra deck is actually not full, but basically what I recommend for it is that. Any card after the cards I'm playing in here, play Cherry Star. Get some play Cherries in your side. Um, we got one Miss Starboard, because it comes up very unique, very rarely, but it does happen event, like once in a while. Um, there's a few plays where, like, mooling, you need this for mooling. Um, then we got Coal Dragon. I would personally say that if you can get the, um, the Ice Barrier that's level six, cut that and play this, in, uh, well, play that and cut this instead. Um, that you mean Brianac? Yeah, Brianac. Um, cause realistically, if you can get this card off, or get a Brian knock off, you can discard your entire hand and then just have a clear reward to kill. So, yeah, your entire purpose with this deck is to kill. Then we got Tatsunoko. Um, this is basically a different way with, instead of using, uh, my Starboard to get a OTK or a Mulling out as well. So it's nice. Plus, if you, let's say, had gun in hand, you can use, you can summon Tatsunoko, then discard the gun with the, uh, the Tatsunoko to make Coral Dragon from hand, or for two extra, or Dull Warren, whatever. Not Delorean, Brionic. Then we're playing two Totally Awesomes. Um, this actually is multi-purpose if you think about it, because if you play Cherries in the side, you can Cherry as a Paleo player, which is, you know, nice. Um, otherwise, it's just, you can only summon two Toads with it, because if you banish stuff off of the swaps, or the banish stuff of the rodents, you end up making, you won't be able to play a third one. If you played one dupe, however, you would be able to make three of these, so that's something you could do if you wanted to, but I don't think it comes up nearly enough to be worth it. Like, it comes up of the 100 games you can make Toad, it works out. Maybe one in those 100. So it's like, yeah. So it's very, very uncommon. Um, we got Abyss Gaius. It's just a nice kind of like complete board you can't play, which is nice. Flow Metal Dragon. Um, this is what you can do if you don't, if you can't make an OTK, you summon the two like Megalos, you attack, you do all the stuff. Then you just summon this on your, your, your main phase two, and then you likely can burn them for the rest of the game. But the rest of the damage that you need for game. Got one big eye. Um, doesn't really come up, but it's a level 7 and it works. And then True King of All Calamities. This card is technically not summonable in this right now, but what I'd recommend is if you can play uh, uh, Mander, Abyss Mander, in your side, if you're ever playing against somebody you know they're going to make you go first, side it in and then you can play this card. And if you can summon this card, you more or less get a free turn and you can win because of that. 
Um, so some recommendations for the uh, side deck. I don't actually have a side deck prepared right now. Um, cards like Evenly Matched, um, Cosmic Cyclone, um, Winged Dragon of Ross Spear Mode. That probably is a three I think you should play. Those are all good cards you could play because you really want to have cards for going second because realistically building this deck going first is just not optimal in any way. So play cards that can get you to go like second. Like you could be like a third Ash, um, a third Valor if you think like because like Valor is good against like um, Let's Win Zombies. Something along those lines, like hand traps, stroll knocker, those type of things, where you can stop your opponent from being able to go off during their turn, so that when you get to go, you can just openly kill them and make it easier. Um, that's it. Do you have any uh, thing uh, that you want to talk about? I have a question actually. Uh, Atlantean dragoons. When it's is it sent to the grave, it gets to use the search effect. I believe it's sent to the grave via water effect. I believe the only one that can actually resolve if you just like is sent to the grave is gunned, which has, states discarded. Um, otherwise, I believe it has to be because of a water effect. So can you use Swap Frog to discard Dragoons, Dragoons? and then do no. a whole bunch of shenanigans? You cannot. You can only discard Gun with that, which is oh. a sad thing, but it's how it works. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that was my only question. Cool. So, um, uh, see you guys next time on, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai.